Just a quick video to try and help anyone out that's struggling with bed levelling. Got the CR6 SE, having troubles with my CR10 Smart as well, so I shall move all this information over to that. I've replaced my standard bed legs under there with silicon squishies, which, as you can see, start off a wee bit taller. So when you fit the bolts through, you're going to have to squeeze the bed down to get the Allen key to reach or get longer Allen keys. I just squeezed mine down, lined the holes up with a uh, Allen key. Got the magnet bed put on today to try and help the situation as well. And I've drilled out my magnet bed all across here so I can still access the Allen keys. Because once you've stuck that on, that's it, it's game over. You've just got to roll with what you've got. So, I've put that on and then I've done a bed level. These are my settings on my bed level. That's just finished. I have bed leveled now probably about 20 times, adjusting the Allen keys each time. Um, up here was plus five, zero, 0500. I had minus 250 something down here. Around here I was in the minus 125s. It's not bang on right now but it's close uh, slowly going over just loosening or tightening each um, each allen key in turn working my way through now what I did I didn't have um, I used one of them I didn't have a uh, what do you call it a torsion wrench or whatever they I can't remember what they call them you know what they call them what I've got here look is one of them little keys for getting a SIM card out your phone and then I marked an elastic band as you can see there there should be which one was this there's another elastic band around here with us aha is that you see I'm going mad I marked an elastic band and I placed this key on the elastic band at said point Right, let's get rid of this. You guys are probably thinking, what the hell is he doing? It's all over the place. So, let me just get me stuff in order. Right, so what I've got is I marked the elastic band. It's not marked now because I'm using one hand and it's not perfect. I marked the elastic band and then I held this in the same place on the um, elastic band and then I pulled the elastic band as you can see until the allen key stopped moving and then I marked that point on the elastic band there so I had a rough idea of tension on the band and I went round and tightened up all the allen keys with the elastic band marked on that edge there kept this in the same place and then when my mark on the elastic band, because you know, it's not easy doing this one-handed. Where are we? I'm just trying to... Let's put that there. So now you can see as I pull it, that little black mark will get closer and closer to the end until BAM! Anyway, now I've adjusted that one to where I didn't want it. So I used that as a rough guide to uh, get all the Allen keys to the same sort of tension. Let's move this out of the way. And then I used a big long nose pair of jobby jobbies from my fishing kit. To just to get an idea of the squishies when I started. Because obviously you've got to have an idea of how much to wind these squishies down without putting the bed under too much tension or warp in it, which I, I didn't want to do. So, I, that's, I think this is ready to go. Um, my advice is go around, check all the bolts, make sure everything's tight, make sure your bed's tight, the wheels underneath there are adjusted. The screws holding the hot end on, they're adjusted because they come loose. I've put a Swiss hot end on 
obviously the magnet band plate jobby jobby and I've changed the squishies now hopefully she'll run like a dream and then I'll transfer all this information over to CR10 smart because that one has been a right flopsy doodle and uh, I'll update you when I find out I hope this is helpful to anybody and uh, I'll let you know how it goes.